Hey guys, it's Rachel. Um, one little thing I want to note. I was looking back at some of my old videos earlier, and my bangs have grown. <laughs> I'm so excited that I can finally pull my hair in a ponytail and push them to the side. Like, I keep telling myself, I really want to try the bang thing. It doesn't work for me. Um, it's so bright in here because we have the door open and Reese's outside. So. Anyways, this is my, um, Goodness Your House Smells Good. So... This is my little stack. Um, I don't like to try to get it too full because I don't want to be on here for an hour. Though I love watching long videos. I feel like I get boring after a while. Um, one of the things we melted is... <laughs> I'm sitting here staring at it like, uh... Anyhow, Rose Girls Cherry Kris, Kris Kringles. And, um... I don't know how I feel about bakery. But this one's pretty good. It's predominant on the cherry. It has an almond note to it to me. Um, I'm not sure what it could be, but that's just what I get from it. And then this one is Wonders of the World. And I kept, like, wondering what in the heck, you know, like, you smell it, you smell it. It has, like, it's so complex. Again, that's Rose Girls. It's um kind of a caramel note to me, but I'm not sure. But um, we did like that one. And then... Sorry, my phone is going off. This was called um, Tropical Sunset. It was Bahama Breeze, Mango Peach Salsa, and Mandarin Cranberry. And with that one, um, I burned Bahama Breeze and then melted those two together. Beautiful. Any like Mandarin Cranberry is so super strong. I have the candle. I have the tarts. It's super strong. And whenever you mix it with something, it blends so perfectly, and it seems to last forever. And I love that. So, um, if you're into the fruity scents and you haven't tried mandarin cranberry, or you think, you know, I don't really like mandarin, I don't really like cranberry. I know Dia Shock hates mandarin cranberry, but I love it. So, everyone has a different nose, but um, he's even said, you know, mixed with other things, I might like it. So, I told him to give it a try. And then this one was um, Margaritaville, which was Bahama Breeze and Pineapple Cilantro. Um, if I did it again, I'd do a little bit more pineapple cilantro. With mine, I'd do the half and the half, but, um, it wasn't enough pineapple-y, I guess, for me. And then I did, um, Candy Rush, which is Mayor Lemon and Pineapple Cilantro. Kind of catching a trend there. Perfect blend. It lasted forever. Um, I love Mayor Lemon. Like, it doesn't have the cleaner note to it, but it does make your house smell clean and fresh. And then I did fruit cocktail, which is supposed to be sparkling lemon, fruit salad, and island guava. I don't have island guava tarts, but I have the candle. So I burned the candle and then melted the mix of the sparkling lemon and fruit salad. And I really like that one. Chad hates island guava, but I like it. And then um, we melted Yankee Candles Paradise Spice. I didn't get much from it. Did you, like... I mean, I know it was the votive, and we melted it. It kind of got a hint of banana, but nothing more than that. Um, Chad just came in here. His cotton candy monster cookies from Rose Girls. And it's very, like, everyone says that cotton candy scents are light. Rose Girls gets it right. Um, cotton candy monster cookies, again, and perfect. If I would have had cotton candy in the house, I would have ate the whole bag. <laughs> this is amazing. Um, this one is Hurricane Daiquiri and Ice Cream Scoop Bread. And the bag is kind of messy. That's my fault because I was playing with the tart in there. But um, I did like this one. It's I smell more of the Ice Cream Scoop Bread. Like I like Hurricane Daiquiri on its own, but... And then we did um, Pink Vanilla Bean Noel from Rose Girls. And I'm not really on board with the whole Vanilla Bean Noel trend that everyone's into. It's just my gosh, your hand looks so weird right there. <laughs> um, it's just not a trend that I'm into, but, you know, to each his own. <laughs> so silly. Um, Raspberry Key Lime Pie. I like this one. Did you like it? You smell it again, the smell it. You lie. It's 
all right, you know what I mean? It's probably stopped melt butter when it was melting. Yeah. It's probably that bag doesn't hold too much scent. No. It's a good one. I liked it. I like the I like the fruity bakery ones. Um, we melted Yankee Candles peppermint bark. This one is it was supposed to be like pepperminty and chocolate. For me, I really liked it because it was more of the peppermint note than the chocolate note, and I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I did. And with that, um, we also that was the day I melt. I was burning Jack Frost, and then I melted peppermint bark, and I also melted Scentsy peppermint dreams, which is a creamy vanilla peppermint. Sorry about my nails. Whew. So, um, if you like, um, like a creamy vanilla peppermint, you'd love that. And then, um, I melted some more berry bramble, which, oily, oily, oily. Love, love, love berry bramble. Oh, Uncle Danny's coming with a load of junk. <laughs> Sorry, my, um, grandma does that whole um, what's the show on TV called, Chad? Storage Wars. My granny could have a whole season of shows on TLC about her. We can still have one more problem. Yeah. But anyway, it's not what we're talking about here. I just saw them going by because our door's open. Um, has sparkling mimosa, which is orange dreamsicle and juicy peach. I love, 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 love this mix. If I could make my own swirl, this would be it. Like, if I could go and make a swirl, that would be it. And then, um, Hawaiian Luau, which was fruit salad and pineapple cilantro. Go on, Chad. That was a really good one. Um, again, it needed more pineapple cilantro. Like, I did half and half. I'm, I'm learning that with the pineapple cilantro. I need to add a little bit more of it. Um, Freezer Pop is Vineyard and Orange Dreamsicle. I love this mix as well. Um. I'm not a fan of orange dreamsicle by itself. I feel like it's very light, but when you mix it with something else, it kicks it up and it's good. Almost done. You hear Reese talking to us? Yeah. Um, today Chad is melting sweet lemon confection, pink sugar, and pink lady. I cut off the edge, but that's what it says. Um, smells really nice so far. It's just started melting, but I like it. Then we did this mix. I did this last night. A friend of mine came over and she said, ooh, I really like that. I actually ended up um, giving her two of the pomegranate cider tarts because she liked it so much. I'm trying to, what are you doing? It wouldn't stick to the outside of the bag. But um, it's autumn fruit and pomegranate cider. And together it mixes fall cider. And it is simply beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Out of all the autumn fruit mixes that I've done, this one was my favorite. Even more so than the autumn fruit and cranberry chutney, which is blackberry zinger. I like this one better. Did um, lemon drop, which is mayor lemon and black cherry. We melted that while we were gone. And even when we I got home around 530, I could still smell it. And we started at about 8, so it's going. Um, cherry limeade, which is cherry lemonade. Excuse me. Vanilla lime and mayor lemon. Great mix. Mm -hmm. I'll just tell you again. Oh, actually, there we go. Cherry lemonade, mayor lemon, and vanilla lime. Good, 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 good mix. I love the cherry lemonade with anything. And this is fruit cocktail again. And then berry blast, which is black cherry, mayor, and cranberry. Love that. Love the Maynard Creamery mixes as well. And then there's a the Blackberry Zinger, which I did say that in comparison, I like Fall Cider more than Blackberry Zinger. So, of everything we melted in the past few things, um, Fall Cider was my favorite. How about you? Not all these. Do you have a standout favorite or you don't really pay attention? What's the use of a man? When his bakery stash is gone, he'll know what, what he likes. But anyhow, um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.